Hey guys, Joestar here. Welcome back to the channel. So this time I got my hands on the new Hisense U7G. No, this is the 65 inch model which sells for $1,100. There's also the 55 inch model that sells for $850. And if you want to go bigger, there's also a 75 inch version that sells for $1,500. Now this TV has more dedicated features for gaming. It has FreeSync Premium Pro, Auto Low Game Latency. It is also capable of 4K 120Hz performance mode. But of course, it also works great with movies. It has Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, IMAX Enhanced Sound with DTS support, Google Assistant, Full Array with local dimming, and up to 1000 nits of peak brightness. So in this video, we're going to take a closer look to this TV and to see how everything works. So welcome to the channel guys. Please consider subscribing if you haven't. I noticed that about 90% of my viewers are not even subscribed. So hit that subscription button, hit that notification bell so you get all the notifications when I upload a new video. I'm Joester and let's do this. So this TV looks very similar to the Hisense UAG, but it's not as premium. The borders are very slim and I also noticed that it's a little bit on the thick side. And the reason being is because this is a full array local dimming TV. This is the 65 inch model and this one comes with 90 dimming zones. There's also the 55 inch model and that one has 72 dimming zones. And there's also a 75 inch model which has 120 dimming zones. Alright, so here we have four HDMI ports and then there's a USB 3.0 on top. There are two HDMI 2.1 ports at the bottom and then two HDMI 2.0 ports as well. Now right here on the bottom we have the cable or antenna port. Then we have audio and video in, headphone jack, I haven't seen that in a while. A USB 2.0 port and a reset button. Then right here on the side we have the LAN port, digital audio for audio. And then we have serial and service. Another cool little detail is the cable management. Same as the Hisense UAG, although this one is a little bit different, but it actually works pretty good. The TV also has a power button right here at the bottom. And there's also a microphone on and off switch that you can turn on or off, depending on if you want Google to listen to you the whole time, or you can just switch it off. So personally, I installed the legs in the inner section part of this TV because personally I think it's the most logical option since it takes less space. So the measurement between the legs is exactly 36 inches by 10 and a half inches by 3 inches height. So that means that there's very little space for a sound bar. So one little detail that is probably not a big deal is that I'm able to remove the power cable from this TV. And this is actually a very simple cable to replace. So just in case if it breaks, it's super easy to replace. I, I mentioned this because I noticed some other brands are now building, building in the cable, the power cable. So I like, I hope they still be able to remove this in the future with all the TV models. So same with the UAG, this is Android 9 OS and it is very, very friendly user. So if you want to set this up, oh my God, it's so simple. You just log in with your phone, use your, your uh, Google account and pretty much everything just transfer in here, all your passwords, your Wi-Fi password and everything. I really, really like this OS. It is super simple. It supports HDR, it supports uh, Adobe Vision, I mean, what else can you ask for? Very, very easy to use. I like it. So watching content in 4K HDR on this TV, it is looking very, very good. I mean, look at this. It is super colorful. It is bright, beautiful, sharp image. And also remember, this is a quantum dot TV. It's a QLED TV. So of course, colors and contrast are going to be enhanced as well. So let's jump into the picture real quick because it does change. Every time you switch to HDR or to Dolby Vision or SDR, the picture does change. So make sure you set it up correctly at the first time. Be sure that the backlight, the automatic sensor is turned off. Your backlight level is 100% and your local dimming is on high. That is probably like the best settings that you can get. Also, I noticed that out of the box, it comes with standard, I believe. And look at this, it changes so much. I mean, standard looks very dull. It doesn't have those punchy colors that I'm looking for. 
But if you switch to, for example, HDR theater, I believe, yes, that's my favorite one. Oh my God, the picture looks so much better. Colorful, bright, I really like this. So the TV also supports Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision, which is another HDR format that it changes dynamically scene by scene. So you get a better HDR performance. So when you jump into Dolby Vision, you get different uh, picture settings. So let's jump into the picture right now. And picture mode, you have three different options. Dolby Vision IQ, which is the one that I'm using right now. Dolby Vision Dark, which is uh, almost the same, but it's a little bit darker. And then Dolby Vision Custom, which allows you to customize all of your settings, which is pretty nice. I really like that I have that option. But honestly, out of the box, I feel like Dolby Vision IQ looks pretty good to me. So this is a VA panel TV, so that means that you're going to have good contrast, deep black levels, but what it fails is on the viewing angles. So what I notice is that when I'm sitting right in front of the TV, the picture looks beautiful, very colorful, great contrast. But when I'm watching this TV on an angle, I start noticing how the colors sort of like fade away. It doesn't have the same impact. They don't have the same um, saturation anymore. So that is something to consider just in case if you want to watch this TV or use it in a, in a wide room big living room consider that the colors are not going to be the same so another thing i like about this tv is the sound this tv has dolby atmos sound and my god it is very loud it sounds very clear and i'm just in level 25 right now that is amazing how the sound is so if you're considering buying this TV without any soundbar or sound system, you're going to have a good experience. I mean, the sound is loud, it is clear, but of course, if you want to have the best experience, I always suggest to at least get a soundbar so you can get the best out of the sound, the Dolby Atmos. In my case, I have the Nakamichi soundbar, which sounds excellent. I have a full review on this uh, soundbar, which I'm gonna leave right here on top, but the sound out of the box, I was impressed, very impressed. So let's jump into gaming and I have the Xbox Series X and PS5 and both work great. Now this TV has very low input lag at around 15 milliseconds so it is very good for competitive gaming, it is very responsive. So far everything works good out of the box including 4K 120Hz mode, VRR, auto logging latency, HDR. I even noticed that local dimming works with 4K 120Hz mode and HDMI VRR. But I will talk more about that in gaming related videos. So if you want to see specific games on this TV, let me know in the comments below what games you would like me to test. I also like the remote controller. It is very simple, easy to use, medium size, it's easy to handle, and it has direct access to Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, Disney+, Plus, Tubi, and Peacock, which is good because those are the most common apps that I use on this TV. There is also Google Assistant, in just in case if you like to use that, voice commands. So, so far, I like this. Alright guys, so this has been my first impression of this TV. This is the Hisense U7G, the 65 inch model. Remember this TV sells for $1,100 and so far I'm having a very positive experience. Um, just in case if you want to learn more about this, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I will have more gaming related videos. I will test it with the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X. I will also share my settings for gaming, for movies. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and also hit that bell notification so you get all those uh, alerts when I uploaded a new video. I'm Jolster and thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.